ya serikali ijue mashule yetu umeona watoto hapa wanasema hao ni wa junior secondary school ndio ukiangalia hiyo curriculum ya CBC bado walimu hawajapata masomo mwafaka ya kufunza hao watoto tungeomba pia serikali kama we can up retraining of our CBC teachers even is a graduate to JSS you are kwe well equipped there are some lessons subjects ambazo zina professionals in this country so we request the minister of education cs machoku you retrain our teachers in the old republic so that we can get quality students within the education sector thank you kwa hivyo ningeomba kwa the last election ni kwamba mimi nilipochaguliwa kama deputy leader wa majority hata hiyo majority tukaidiwa iko wabunge walinunuliwa kama kuku kwa soko tulikuwa wengi wakaptoweka tukabaki wachache unfortunately saa hii wale wanaume mnaona hapa na wengine wachache ndio wanaongea kwa niaba ya wakenya wale wengi wanatongozwa na tumbo zao wameenda kule wamenunuliwa ona kaidi mtabia makae wa mose ainya mai makae tio kaangani mako na kura maitie yes yani watu ambao hata wawezi kutetea watu wao sasa mimi nikiongea kwa niaba ya watu wa Kadiani watu wa Kadiani wanalia wanasema tumenyongwa tumefinywa ile slogan tuliambiwa na Ruto ati kazi ni kazi hakuna kazi tumeona kwa sababu watu wetu hajafata kazi akarudi akasema huyo Ruto tu ati pesa mfukoni kumbe alikuwa anaangalia ile pesa iko kwa mifuko yetu na ameitoa sasa tumemaliza mwaka na karibu nusu ile kidogo tulikuwa naye imeenda mimi Ruto ukiingia kwa ofisi katumbo ilikuwa imefika hapa sasa angalia inarudi tu unaendelea kutufinya na hiyo ndiyo maisha tumekataa ndio nasikia mheshimiwa anasema hii muti ikatwe si ndio na mimi nasema muti ikatwe ashuke na aende wapi atiende wapi Tumboi. na nyumbani ni wapi atiende wapi ala kumbe nyinyi mnajua wacha niseme wakati hii uchaguzi ulipita kama azimio tuliona kama tumeidiwa na tukaenda kotini ile koti ikasema kwamba huyu Ruto ati ndiye atakuwa rais na tukasema hata kama hatuja furai tutafuata vile koti imesema koti Ruto ako kwa ofisi kwa sababu ya Supreme Court of the Republic of Kenya it is funny how the Supreme Court made you president and today you stand in front of people and completely ignore the same law and insult the same Supreme Court ni aibu sana wale walikupa, walikupatia uh, nafasi ukawa rais ukapatiwa vitu mbili ukapatiwa katiba ndio uweze kufuata sheria na ukapatiwa sword ndio uweze kutetea wa Kenya sasa juzi wakati hawa watu wa koti wametusaidia kwa sababu alikuwa amesema hii housing fund lazima tuweze kulipa tukaenda kotini sababu bunge imeshindwa na kazi koti ikasema isimamishwe tuka akaleta sheria nyingine ya kuongeza pesa na kutujanganya pesa inaitwa SHIF tukaenda kotini koti ikaenda ikajaribu kusimamisha akasema wacha niwaambie hii sword nilipewa sio ya kukatakata nyanya na mboga ati ni ya kufieka watu shetani sasa namwambia hii sword haikuwa ya kukata wa Kenya na umetisha koti mpaka wakaogopa na wacha niwaambie koti ikiogopa Kenya itaumia juzi alisema ati mtoto akizaliwa birth certificate anaongeza pesa akasema oh ukifika miaka nane, kitambulisha kukutambua kama mkenya ataongeza bei yake akasema ati hata ukikufa ile pesa utalipa utawatia watu wako shida alafu akasema ukitaka kuoana utafute 1500
Hapa Nairobi wanaume wale wana bibi walikuwa wanatembea akiona mrembo anapenduka. Kwa sababu wanaovapa 1500 hakuna. Sasa hiyo ndiyo maisha mnataka. Na ile wala walituokoa ni koti ya Kenya. Sasa ametisha koti lakini nataka kushukuru wale wa, wa court of appeal jana wamesema hii muradi ya kuchukua pesa yetu ya kwenda kutujengea manyumba na sisi tumejipanga na manyumba zetu hiyo kitu ni unconstitutional na wasimamishe Mheshimiwa Makao ni commissioner kule bunge Kwa hivyo huyu ndio anatulipa mshahara Sisi ni viongozi wa kupiga siasa yeye ni kiongozi wa kutulipa sawa sawa Mheshimiwa unajua tumekatwa katwa hiyo pesa miezi kadhaa sasa koti imeamua wewe tuambie mshahara mtaturudishia lini ile mulikata muturudishie Si ni kweli hiyo? Eh hey, pesa muturudishie ndio hata sisi tukitembea tukazovia ombai. Anatia huo? Ndio tukazovia ombai ba na muundo umwe. We are going to remain firm and we are not going to relent. Ruto unatuchezea kama wabunge. Nilikuona juu ya gari yako. Unasema umeachilia pesa yote ya elimu. Hakuna mkenya ambaye anafaa mtoto anafaa kufukuzwa kutoka shule. Mheshimiwa makao amepewa milioni 30. Sisi wametupea kila mtu 30 million the budget we have given for bursaries and the forms which are distributing. Mheshimiwa makao anahitaji karibu million 60 we want the total amount of bursaries which we have allocated as a parliament and we don't want anything less you are setting us against as a public nitapea mtoto wa nani na niache wa nani tuache mchezo bana kwa hivyo hii wananchi kimeumana kimefanya nini kimefanya nini lakini niko na amani kama kuna nyota imetoka kama kuna sauti ya Mwenyezi Mungu imeanza kutambaa Kenya mzima inatangaza ya kwamba mkombozi wa inji hii ni mheshimiwa Dr. Steven Kalonzo Mstaka asubuhi mchana uchao nataka niseme hivi mheshimiwa Kalonzo Mshoka ukiwa pali huko Sauti ya mkenya yote inakuangalia you are the face of the struggle to redeem Kenya from this stupid economy Mungu awabariki Alafu wanatuambia wanajenga nyumba affordable Ile nyumba wanadanganya mkenya ya kawaida ni affordable ni nyumba ya milioni ine. mama mboga atatoa milioni ine wapi Bwana Ruto Ukiwa na serikali yako Ya pili Mheshimiwa Ruto Uliandaa wa Kenya na kina mama na, na vijana Mama mboga analia Boda boda analia Maisha imeenda juu Mafuta imefika mia tatu dola inaelekea eh, shilingi mia moja sabini when you are campaigning you promise Kenyans that you are going to deal with the issue of cost of living na ukatuambia bottom up kumbe wa Kenya tu kuelewa ulikuwa unatoa unga shilingi ya thamanini upeleke sabini upeleke mia moja upeleke mpaka mia mbili That is what is bottom up. So we will to tell you. Wacha kuzomea vijana. Wacha kukasirika na vijana wakikuzomea. Nataka kukuambia utazomewa Kenya hii kwa uongo yako. Eshimu mahakama. Wamesema housing levy is unconstitutional. Ati unasema unaenda kukaa na kome mkae chini. I want to challenge you kome. 
Tell Kenyans what you discussed with the president. Muchana, tuelewane vile tutakaa na nyini. Wa Kenya wanaumia. Makao wamenunua basi hapa. Lakini kuna watoto ambao lazima watafutie basari hapa shule ili wasome. Maisha imekuwa ngumu kwa mkenya yoyote. Mumetoa insurance ya police. Na hiyo itasema. Hata kama wanaosi yesi kwa hapa. They are suffering the way Kenyans are suffering. And Kenyans we need an honest conversation on how to make sure Sakayo hiyo mti umepanda lazima tuikate uteremke chini. Hello. Niseme nisiseme. Sisi kama wabunge na sisi kama viongozi ambao tunaheshimu katiba na sheria ya Kenya tutakuambia ukweli mchana uchao usiku ukiamuka utapata tukisema ukweli na ile shida iko na hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza wakilala wanaota vile watatoa shilingi kwa mfuko yako waweke kwa mfuko yao wakakule na tutakubali inji ambayo inapelekwa kwa shida kwa sababu ya tumbo ya wachache tumbo crats kwa hivyo kama wa Kenya nataka niwaambie hivi mujiandae kwa sababu 2027 it will be against the government of the day and the people of Kenya and we must make a decision as early as 2024 they must go home wapende wasipende yeah. mheshimiwa rais william samoi ruto nataka nikuulize kwa heshima mchana Uliandaa wa Kenya ya kwamba ukipewa mamlaka utaheshimu vitengo zile zingine za serikali kama mahakama na utaheshimu uamuzi yoyote wa mahakama Leo nimekusikiza ukiwa Meru na najua ume, za, u, uko na hasira kwa sababu jana wale vijana ulidanganya walikuzomea na uongo aukai miaka mingi uongo wako umeanza kufika kikomo kwa wakenya mahakama imesema na ilikuambia nikiwa mazishi kule pande ya kalama ya kwamba ile kodi unatoza wa Kenya ya housing levy is unconstitutional and it will remain unconstitutional in a diplomatic dip in a democratic country called Kenya kwa hivyo wacha kujipiga kifua ukisema utaendelea mimi nataka kutangazia waajiri wa wote wa Kenya nikiwa hapa maboko hakuna kutoza hiyo ushuru is unconstitutional tafuta pesa mahali pengine ujenge nyumba zako Ni aibu. Na ni aibu mjana. Chifu wa maboko hapa anakatwa hauzi levy. Chifu anatokanga kwa ile area ana, ameajiriwa. Alijenga nyumba nyumba ya kuishi miaka nenda miaka rudi. Unamkata hiyo mpesa aende kukaa kwa hiyo nyumba na itamsaidia na nini? Na iko kamati pale bunge imeongezwa na mheshimiwa ngenu. Nimekuona leo ukisema mnaendelea kufanya public participation. Stop wasting public money. Stop wasting public money as a committee. Na nataka commissioner. Hao wabunge wanamangamanga wakisema 
ati wanaana kufanya public participation as something which is unconstitutional we are going to charge them tuelewa neni hii Kenya ni asisi wote tukiwa milioni milioni 52 hatuwezi kuwa Kenya ya wachache wanajipiga kifua so the committee led by mheshimiwa ngeno stop the exercise stop the nonsense